A lot of Nigerians are saying that this man should forgive this lady, this Nigerian lady. A lot of Nigerians also are saying that this man shouldn't forgive that lady, that the man should punish her, that the man should show her a great lesson for other people to learn. I want to know where you that is watching now, I want to know where you stand, whether you suggest that the man should forgive the lady or the man should go ahead to deal with that lady. Listen to this story of a successful businessman and a lady, a pregnant lady for that matter. There's a way you will listen to this story. If care is not taken, you take side. But I don't want you to take side. Just listen to this story very well. Then give your perfect judgment in the comment section. And every one of us need to learn a great lesson in this kind of thing. For the fact we have the platform to speak out here, doesn't mean that you should defend somebody's character to talk down on somebody or to be having bitter jealousy about somebody's success. Like out of jealousy, you are trying to bring someone's business down. I will be the last person that will ever try to bring someone's success down because I know the precautions. So they're listening to this very story. There's a man, a CEO of a company named Erisco Food. The company produces a lot of foods, different kind of things, tomatoes, and everything about food. This man is from Nigeria in Anambra State. This man has built up that company for over 40 years. Now, a content creator on Facebook she has a lot of followers on Facebook, a public figure for that matter. And she's also a married lady with pregnancy. She went to a shop and she bought the tomato paste of this Erisco food. She bought it and brought it home and opened the paste and test it, test the tomato. Then she said on her on the video, she was recording everything, saying that this tomato it's not good, it contains a lot of sugar, there's a lot of sugar in the tomatoes, that people should stop buying it. Hmm. After saying that, seeing as if that one is not, a, is not enough, then somebody commented on that her video, telling her that she should stop tarnishing uh, uh, her brother's company. Like this person we are talking about is my brother. To stop tarnishing my brother's business. Then, instead for this, she, the name of that lady that, that, that was tarnishing the image of the company, the name of the lady is Shioma Ukuli. Then the name of the CEO, the owner of the company, his name is Chief Eric Umofia. See, his name is Eric. That is where they, they must have gotten the name, a risk company, foods, you get. So, this Shioma, instead for the Shioma to take corrections from what the lady told her in the comment section of the video, she went ahead and typed and replied to that person, telling her, telling her that, go and tell your brother, which is the Erisco, that he should stop producing something that is killing people. Hmm. We don't have an evidence. That this tomato or any of Erisco food has killed anybody. You don't have any evidence to prove. And you are saying it with your bold, with boldness, with your full chest. After saying that comment, then they started looking for this Shioma Okori, the content creator. Then on one Sunday morning, when she was coming back from the church, she went to church. One thing about in Nigeria, if you think that you are powerful, that don't, nobody can get you no hand can get you if nigerian police is ready for you if they are like if they are ready to get you in a twinkling of an eye they will get you they will catch you then the lady was so surprised on her way coming back from the church they they got hold of her put handcuff in her hand with her pregnancy you get took her to Abuja, straight. You know how many hours they will take on the road, straight to Abuja, High Court. Started the matter, and the man have vowed never to forgive this lady, that this lady will give him 
7 billion naira. I will convert this 7 billion naira uh, in CDs and in dollars. In the right top, you will see it as we are looking at it right now. This is the amount in CDs, this amount in dollar that this shomer will pay to him for damages. If not, she will go to prison for many years. That she will go to prison and, she, and that the man has vowed never to forgive this lady. Do you know the reason why people are now begging the man to forgive her? Because the lady has cried, I am pregnant, forgive me, consider my baby. Consider. Then they told her that there is a place in the prison for pregnant women. If you go to prison, you will see where the pregnant women are. They will stay inside the prison and give birth there. Then they assured her that the pregnancy, they will take care of the pregnancy inside the prison. Why stay inside the prison? So she shouldn't use it as a excuse that she must go to the prison without her pregnancy. Now, many uh, people now has divided themselves into two. Some part are saying that the man should forgive her. Do you know the reason why some people are now saying that the man should forgive her? This is a risk of food. Me personally, I don't know about the risk of food before I've not heard about it. So many people have not heard about the, that company before. But because of this Shioma saga, this issue that made a lot of people to start knowing a risk, a risk, a risk. Many people have started giving the man free advert. The advert that this man could have paid billions of naira to make, to give those con uh, the co co content creators to make an advert for him. Now they are now making free advert for him. Now this tomato and risco food, his company is now popular now. Many people don't know about this company, but because of this issue, you see, this man now has grown to be in a, like this company has now become so so popular. People saying that the, the man should forgive uh, Shioma, saying that the man should tap from that grace, to tap from that um, defamation, because if God wants to bring you up. God can use any ways to bring you up. Unimaginable ways to bring you up. Like the man should tap from that. She will just forgive the lady. Because now, because of this now, his company is booming now. More than ever. This is the reason people are now saying that the man should just wave everything aside. Now, some people are now saying that the man shouldn't forgive. That the man should, you know, show the lady a great lesson for other people to learn. To stop the famine people's character that if the man forgive this lady another person will come and do it and that may not turn out to be good as this risk of food because a risk of food will now turn out to be good for him his company has started booming so that the man shouldn't forgive at all that the man should show this shioma ukoli a great lesson for other people to learn now my people what they suggest in this story, in this kind of thing now, you can Google it about this uh, thing I'm talking about, this story, this issue, about you will know more details about it on Google. It's everywhere now. It's viral. It's a viral something. So what do you think in the comment section, guys? Do you think that this man should wave about the whole thing, forgive this uh, very lady? Or do you think that the man should show her a great lesson? for other people to learn. Drop in the comment section below what you think about this. Let's learn together and see your opinion. But the advice I'm passing out there, guys, stop the farming people's character. Whenever you are making content, try to hold an evidence. If you are talking about someone or a company or anything, that you, especially that thing is so sensitive, make sure you have evidence to prove whenever the person comes on you, then you give an evidence of what you are saying. Stop talking about people. Stop talk all this thing, talking about people negatively, talking about people, especially when you don't have an evidence. It's very risky. It's not good at all. The way this man is taking this lady around, suffering her with her pregnancy now, this is what you, you may face the one that is more painful than this. 
if I meant people's character or people's will of things, we knew there's a law about it, against it. Why are people now keep say, doing, making the same mistakes? Because apart from this lady, a lot of things like this have been happening, especially in Nigeria. Is you know another thing that is pinning me so seriously about this whole thing? These two people are from the same state in Nigeria. The man is from Anambra State. The Shoma in question is also from Anambra State. All of them are from the same state in Nigeria. You are trying to bring your own brother down. Not that your brother is doing something that is fake. Although we know that a lot of people in Nigeria are making fake, fake products. We know them. A lot of people who talk about them have evidence. They have evidence to prove whenever the laws get on them, they will bring their evidence. A lot of fake products, we know them. But as for this man, everybody knows very well that this man is very legit. His company is so legit. He's not doing his own fake. Everything is good. If you test the tomato, everybody knows that tomatoes contain sugar. If his own sugar is too much, you can easily say that the sugar is too much, reduce the sugar. Then the company will agree and reduce the sugar. But you are saying that the tomato has been killing people, which you don't have any evidence that this is the person that this tomato has killed before. Then you are spelling it out, thinking that the law will not hold you. Now, we are now suffering it, begging and praying and seeking for public sympathy. But when you were running your mouth, blah, 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 like parrot, you don't know. Now you are seeking for public um, sympathy using your pregnant, pregnancy. You are from the same state. Hey, God, let's learn to love. Let's learn to guide our own. Don't spoil people something because maybe you are you're envy on the person. Why you should envy of another person? See the way I'm sweating, guys. We just took our light, but I know they will bring the light back. Sorry for that. So I want just to pass this thing at us here, guys. Let's learn a great lesson in this person of Shioma and the CEO of the uh, risk company, what they are going through now. Shioma has not yet released. She's still suffering. The man is still taking her around. By now, she must have lain, like, because what she's facing right now, pass her. What in she facing now, pass her by far. Drop in the comment section. Let's hear what you have to say. Let's hear your own judgment. Do you think the man should forgive, or she should, or, or he should still go ahead and deal with her? All right, guys. If you like the video, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe, guys. Turn on the notification bell so anytime I drop a new video, you will get notified and watch. All right, guys. See you in the next one.